first off, I want to say a huge thank you. This is a gift card that this customer just gave us. This is so nice, by the way. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. This car is basically here for maintenance. Top looks like it's being changed, and this wasn't all tucked in and attached properly. These are a bit of a pain. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a, a factory top, so it maybe doesn't line up quite right. That's another reason we don't like aftermarket tops. A lot of these little areas that have the really small clips and screws that hold that together, they don't line up exactly like they should. So, big fan of OEM. See you later, Esther. So, let's get this in. We'll go over his list, show you what it looks like. You've seen us do this a million times. <laughs> So Scarlet ran away first thing this morning. That was really nice for Estra to deal with as soon as she got out the car. Dog Dog decided to just bolt and run up the cul-de-sac and found a shop that she went to hang out at and those guys were petting her. Uh, first order is uh, two pulley bearings. This is something we sell a lot of and it's such a big difference. Easy install is pretty much a, just do it in your driveway. We did do a how-to video. Gonna include a koozie too, by the way. We've got some more new ones coming soon in blue because we get asked a lot about the blue ones. A little rust back here, don't it? That's rusty, I Yeah. Spray, spray paint everything black. Yeah, we painted over all that. It's rusted, but it's not corroded all the way through. No, I mean the, the flanges are barely flanges, the nuts are not nuts anymore. Yeah, luckily we don't have to work on that. You seen a thing off the wall yet? No, not really. Uh, he wanted us to look at the clutch, I looked at the clutch. Uh, it's probably about halfway through. Yeah. There may be another, you know, 20,000 miles or so on it. Yeah. It's got aftermarket coilovers on it. Yeah, they're, I think, eBay's. The ones that you buy that you get to choose your own color on. Yeah. And those are the yellow ones. Alright, so we'll see what the oil and fluids look like. Are you glad that you're not driving behind that guy? Yeah. Three clips missing there. A broken tab there. That would annoy the heck out of you going down the road. Hey buddy, you need help? This is the guy that just doesn't like us. He brings us packages. But you still don't know your name, George? To give you an idea how bad our shipping price is through UPS, this just came from Sam's. Free shipping. And it's 20 by 14 by 14, basically, right? Uh, yeah, it was 17 something. A $22 item, that came free shipping. Yeah. Let's go in our UPS software and see what that would cost. Where did it come from? Did it come from their like, warehouse somewhere? Um, Indiana. What the... Oh, I love it when it does all these updates. Uh, anything more than 20 minutes, it has to do an update. It's awesome. Sam's Club. The actual size of the box is 17 by 14. By 13. 13. And what is the weight that they're saying? 8.6. So, 8.6. All right. And the magic number is it's going to appear over here. 2641. 2641. That's actually not that bad. Not as bad as we thought it'd be, but also the thing in the box only cost us $22. <laughs> so we would have lost $4.41 on the shipping, plus the item that we actually gave, plus the credit card fee, which is about 3.5%. How was that? How was the trip to Walmart? It was, um, you know... Delightful? Expected. You know, yeah. Excellent customer service. Well, it is. That's what you're saying, that because people... you uh, out, right? you got to check yourself out and find your own stuff. Yeah. And, you know. So the money we made on the oil, Esther's been gone like an hour and a half. <laughs> I was buying the oil, you know, of course I'm waiting for the people. There's this guy and he's looking at me and he goes, You got a truck? And I was like... Yep. V8. No. Thirsty. <laughs> it's thirsty. <laughs> no. That last time I had probably 20 of these in the shopping cart. Yeah. And the guy in front of me was kind of just browsing at it looking. He goes, that's a lot of oil. I go, yeah, got one of those new Corvettes with a dry sump. It takes 20 gallons. <laughs> and he kind of looked back and he goes, 
Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it costs you a fortune. It's a dry sump, it has more oil than gas. So a customer stated that the defroster does not work. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the defroster that I can see. Uh, when you press the button, it lights up. But what I did find is that for some reason, someone took it, the wire, and they took it. There's no wire in there at all. Uh, luckily, I saved one. Don't remember why I saved it. Maybe I knew this was coming in. So we'll get this in there, get it plugged in, and the defroster should work. Gonna bore you too much with oil changes you've seen that before this is something i can't stress enough and i'm not telling you to come to lht and get it done here i'm just telling you to do it clutch fluid right here the little one this gets really dirty and it gets contaminated when it gets from hot and cold obviously it condenses and it pulls in moisture and then it forms almost like a gritty material uh, same on the brakes and over time it will cause more damage. This isn't as common, but this we replace so many clutch master cylinders and they're just not that fun to do. And it's a waste of money if you can prevent it. Stay on top of this. Um, I would change it, if it was me, every year. Uh, I'd flush this probably every one to two years. Unless you track it, then obviously you flush it after a track day. But this is something that gets overlooked and I want to bring it to your attention. So let's get those two done. I'll show you what the fluid looks like when it comes out. Was you coming to tell me I bought the wrong cheese? No, I was coming to ask George if he wanted one or two pieces. <laughs> You're on the spot. Okay, okay, I'm just double checking. Yeah. I know what he wants. So oh I yeah, want I, I, I love I the cheese. Count out the cheese and see how many we have for the week. So. I know he's. I know he's getting more. No, John always does too. So. I try and load up. Estra's Estra's making lunch today, by the way. He's been making sandwiches, people. Okay, for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. Decades. Long, long time. Whatever. Four it's been a while. I have no clue what that means. This is going to show you how bad the clutch is once that air comes out. You'll see the grody stuff coming out. There it is. So that's what the fluid looks like compared to semi flushed. So we're going to flush it all the way out until you hear it go in the container. And then we will wipe out that container. Make sure all the debris is out of there. This isn't as bad as some that we see, but now you see we can clean that out completely, put fresh fluid in and f uh, flush it through. All right, that is done. See how much better it looks? It looks brand new. Well, it's actually amazing the difference. The clutch pedal feels smoother when you flush this fluid through because it is like a fluid cable. So think of the fluid traveling back and forth through the whole system. The fresh fluid makes the clutch feel noticeably better. So last thing to do on this, is really check the serpentine belt. It did look a little sketchy. You overdoing it on the chips, Esther. You're eating way too much. I just want three. That's all I want. <laughs> just a taste. It's more than one and less less than four. <laughs> it yes. sure is. So he supplied new bulbs. So they match now. Yeah. This one was white. Wow. Okay. Little TLC. And the belt's done, right? How was the old belt? Uh, the belt is not done. I need to charge the wheels. Uh, your guy with the Corvette just come out we were just talking to. The uh, guy we did a while back, the exhaust and stuff. Alright, they've got the serpentine belt off and I've turned the fan off so it can be very quiet. You hear that? I'm gonna go ahead and put a new bearing in that one. This one down here is fine. Is that will make a little noise too? Now that I've got everything off and quiet, that one's actually a little noisy too. Maybe we'll go ahead and do them both. You got absolutely nailed. Yeah, that was a really bad decision. It's all over the leash too. It's all over the leash and all underneath her all undercarriage. All over the dog dog. No, oh, she's she hates it, doesn't she? She's like, ah. Oh, it's all really? stuck. You're gonna have to sit and pull all those out. Look at it. Look at Oh, that's it. Here. In the bath dog. Over there. Look at. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
It's like Velcro. It is like Velcro. Oh, you're not excited about that, are you? No. Look at her. She looks Poor like she's going to the vet. Girl. She's got that look. Oh, it's it's going up. It's not too bad. Yeah, I have... You just gotta pull it lightly so you don't pull her hair. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait. And, I don't like... know about you though. I'm gonna have to hit the air blower on that. <laughs> you wanna try it? You can try it, but I don't think it's gonna work. If not, we'll hit it with a pressure washer. I mean, I'm okay with that. Not the pressure washer. The pressure washer. <laughs> not the pressure washer. Yeah. That just came. This just came. It says, hi, Esther. I put a couple of mediums in for the kids. Let me know. Look, the, the, new, the new name, Ed. the new oh, company. John Deere. John Deere. John Deere car. John Deere. That's what I say to you all the time. John Deere. That's, yeah, that's right. My middle name is Deere. Look, there's a pink one. Yeah, you get called that oh. all the time, right? My mom used to call me Deere. Is it? I'm excited. Sweet. I'll totally wear it. There you, go. you will, too. And it's a, it's a, um, and she's it's a trucker hat. It's a trucker hat. It's a nice pink, too. It's like I love cool. it. Well, what else is right now? I'm wearing to Virginia when I, when I go in March. I mentioned how many of these we sell. I think four sets are going out today alone. So this is set number five. And you never know what's wrong with your pulley bearings. So this one here, these were all off the same car. This one has no grease in it. So the no grease is going to go metal on metal, wear out the bearing. This one still has grease, but it has play in the center. All the grease has been flung out of it. So we have them in the store, guys. Go ahead, check it out. Let's go ahead and start this up. We'll let it get warm. Make sure everything's good on his list. Nice and smooth, nice and quiet. One thing we just noticed, it was hidden by the wire. The wire was right across that tube, completely torn. So that's not good because it's no longer filtering anything under the engine bay. I want to call Honda and see if that's still available. And if it is, contact the customer, see if he wants it, which he'll more than likely say yes. But I always like to give him the option. And we'll replace that. Other than that, this thing is done. Sounds nice and quiet. Probably sound nice. A clean bill of health. Mr. Top Gun. What's up? So I see you got a different exhaust again. For now. <laughs> 14th exhaust on this car. Yes. If you want to know anything about exhaust, you got to get a hold of Top Gun. He will tell you which one fits, which one doesn't, which one sounds the best. Which one drones. Which one drones, which one doesn't. <laughs> so brake fluid isn't too bad. I think you say your clutch fluid looked the worst. Yeah, you just flushed it. He's already done it? Yeah, I just cleaned it out. To... Okay, still looks cloudy. Yeah. We'll give it a run through. We'll make it look pretty. Appreciate it. All right, let's do this first. So how many transmissions can you fit in a fit? If you say more than two, I'm going to give you more than two. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got Mark over here. I'm not going to tell you what he's doing, but he has a fit with two transmissions in it. So we'll do a recap on this, but this might be a, a good uh, a thing. Partnership for both of us. So I give him a follow. This is fit that he's probably going to swap at some point. Wow, $50 Uber Eats. Thank you so much, Catherine. That is much, much appreciated. I won't read this out because I'll probably botch it up. I'm gonna open this later, I promise. I gotta find out what is in that thing. Tube is available, which is surprising. I don't think Honda would have that, but they do. Uh, contemplate maybe ordering a couple and putting them in the store because it's something we start to see on all the cars. But this one is done. We can go ahead and call him and tell him, pick it up and give it a clean bill of health. That's it. That was a day in the life of LHT with a few other things going on. We're still working on that car. We'll show you more on that later. So this is obviously a whole bunch of stuff. Somebody said, you know what? You guys can probably use this. Thank you. Look at that rotor screws. Valve stems, oil cooler adapter. Jacob, thank you so much. Much, much appreciated. Turbo kit is going on nice on weekends, building that as we have the time. We're not interfering with customer work. Customer work always comes first. Our stuff gets pushed to the side. We fit it in where we can. Uh, I do appreciate the uh, uh, patience for the people that want us to work on your car. And just remember when we do work on your car, it's just your car. We don't have the dealership mentality where there's 10 cars on lifts and everything's all jacked up and everything's in pieces and we kind of bounce around. 
my OCD mentality, I would never be able to do that. And that's one of the, uh, the reasons we keep a small facility. Let's get back to this one. Let's get the body shop. And the pipes just came back from AB. If you're following along with the S2000 build, part two is going to show you the pipes and everything else. Thanks for watching. This is the cheesy bit at the end of the video, but we really appreciate the support. We do joke around sometimes on these little vlog type things, but the passion is real. We do this every day. We love this. I started the company back in 1996. I enjoy it just as much today as I did then. Maybe more so because I'm surrounded by the people I really enjoy being around. This car is back right here. We built this car six years ago. We did custom headers and exhaust, really, really tight fitment. It came from another shop that they said it couldn't be done. And I'll show you details on this coming up. That's all, see you in the next video. Don't forget, enjoy your cars.